Okay, so today we're going to do something really fun. I need to create a subdomain on Netlify, and apparently there is a procedure that I can follow in order to make it, and it should be really precise. And uh, actually, it's really nice because I paid for a full domain name, and this domain name, uh, it's uh, iwithhelpfiles.com, of course, but I want to create a test site as well. And yeah, so let's just do it and see how it goes. So. There we go. We are going to our domains here and we have the procedure. So let's open them side by side. Uh, save, next up, tile, two tabs. All right, so there we go. So the procedure says login and then you must have a site that hosted on Netlify. I do have it. Make a several site, deploy your content to that site several probably make a new site so uh, i did create a new site and the way to do it is actually pretty simple all you need to do is have a uh, a zip file which has index html and it's completely empty file there is nothing in it but it's sufficient enough for netlify to create a new site oh fantastic so we are going to let's see we have those two sites so this is the one that I created by dragging and dropping. And then we are going to go to the second site. That's where they change site name. So where is it? Where is it? Site details, site name, change site name. What it does, nothing. It's just, it's just a name. So change site name. Hey, there we go. So the site name would become test, just a test, okay? And we're going to save. Oh, all right, so test, I read test, fantastic. Let's see, yeah, that one doesn't exist. Okay, for example, in the custom name, all right, we are going to the domain management and we're going to say in the custom domain name, we are going to add a custom domain. So it's going to be test iReadHelpFiles.com. And we're going to verify. Yeah, we're going to say, is it you? Yes, add domain. Fantastic. Your site is not enforcing HTTPS. Okay, so we are not. Okay, force HTTPS. Yes, force HTTPS. I hope I'm not paying for the other one. Okay, and uh, let's see if it works. Test I read help files dot com. Let's see, the site can't be reached. Of course, it can be reached. All right. Edit the custom domain. Yes, we did that. Use Netlify DNS as a site. Custom domain, your managing domain number provider. So it, it, it changed it a little bit. It asked me if, if it's me. It is me. So now we are going to our main site. We go to site settings and we are going to actually configure the domain. Where is the domain? All right, I think it's somewhere in, a, in another place. So domain settings, okay. It's a very outdated procedure, I must say. Cool, so custom domains, yes, Netlify, add domain alias, configure domain. So probably if I click on that, it's gonna be the configure domain. No, not again. It's gonna be edit domain, right? Okay. No, we cannot edit it like this. Netify DNS, custom domains, add domain alias, HTTPS. Oh, come on. We read help files and this help file is not at all helpful. So domains, custom domains, how to redirect them to my primary domain? No, this is not what we do. So we go back here. Do we have anything? No, account settings, account settings, domains. Here we go. And then we can actually do this. 
and then make a C name record, add a C name network, and it's going to be a C name, and it's going to be test dot I read help files dot com. Okay, it's going to be a name, but we also need to put a value, and we save. And there we have it. So let's see if we get an empty page. Site can be reached. Probably it's going to take a little bit. Uh, is there a uh, save button? Button somewhere here. So a CNAME test. I read helpfiles.com. Yeah, that, that's me. Okay. And this is the end of the procedure. So it's going to take a little bit of time. To actually test it out but yeah let's give it a minute or so and see i read help files is it the same one i read help files let's edit it once more test i read help files yes everything is fine and we have ourselves a subdomain in netlify how cool is that